Welcome back to another uh, week at the Noosh vlog. I'm st sitting here down in the studio. Marty's hanging out with me. Oh, she's always leaving. Marty always leaves when I start doing stuff. Huh. All right. Um, last week, I carved out this piece, which is going to be one of my um, full color prints. Marty's now rubbing all over the tripod. So you probably hear that. Hey, girl. So last week I finished up this piece, which is going to be one of my full color prints. I've got four blocks that look similar to this that I transferred the image onto. These are going to be my color blocks. And this week I'm going to start uh, carving those out and printing those on paper and layering them all together. Um, so that's what I'm going to start with doing this week. This week I also have uh, 12 tiny C carvings that I, I did last week that I will be painting and inking up. And maybe I'll start something new too. I want to do get back into like doing t-shirt designs and stuff like that as well. Um, so maybe I'll do a sketch out of t-shirt design something this week as well. But that's uh, that's what I got working on this week. So I'm going to get started carving out the color blocks for the um, snail monster piece that I drew up last week. I would show you what I was going to look like in color. Maybe I can pull up a video from last week and put it in here. But um, I was really dumb last week and I didn't save my progress on the color sketch that I did of it. So the only versions I have of it are the ones that are recorded in the vlog last week. So I'm going to have to be going off of like old, old footage to uh, figure out what I intend to carve for each one. That'll be fun. All right. On to uh, carving out the color blocks. Actually, I just sat down at my carving desk to uh, start carving these out and I don't think it's going to be too interesting visually because I'm not going to spray paint them. I'm just going to start carving away on them because uh, I know what areas I need to carve out and I don't want to draw on them because then the Sharpie marks will transfer to the print when I um, go and print it with light colors. So I don't want to do all that. So I'm not going to film myself carving these because I don't think they'd be too visually interesting to watch you, sit here and watch you carve. I'm just going to come on once I've finished carving them and show you what they all look like. How's that sound? Is that a little better? Um, but I will carve something this week. I'll find something to carve this week for you guys. All right, so I've got it all carved out and ready to go now. There it is. It's all set. I've got uh, my printing station already. The press is all ready to go too. And I got to mix up some, some ink and then I can start printing. So that's what I'm about to do now. Um, and I'll show you what I got on the press right now just to uh, have this all set up. All right, so I got some white ink. How to clean it out, but white ink there. I got some blue ink. I also had to clean this out, but I've got some blue ink sitting there and I'm going to take out just the smallest bit of blue ink because this is very, it's much darker than I want it to be. And it's easier to add the blue ink to the white ink. And I'm going to take out a big, uh, a big honk of blue ink here. I'm going to put it down, maybe a little bit more or I called this blue. This is white. You know what I mean. Maybe a little bit more. I don't want to have to remix it in, uh, halfway through. If I have to, it's not a huge deal, but I want the colors to be as consistent as possible throughout the whole edition. So if I need more blue ink, I can easily add it to this white ink. Oops. Let me wipe that off. I want to keep that for blue ink. I'm going to mix it with this. Now this white ink's a little stiff. So I'm going to also put in a magical ingredient called set swell. And this is just going to make the ink buttery. It's basically, it's like oil. It's just going to make the ink a lot smoother. It's also going to make the ink sit on the paper a lot uh, flatter. So I'm just going to put that into the ink. It's, it also makes the ink take a little bit longer to dry, but I'm willing to sacrifice that for the type of ink that I want, like the smoothness in the ink that I want. You don't want to put a whole ton of it into it. I'm just going to work it slowly into the ink, just folding, folding gathering it and then smoothing it out to get a 
good consistency. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna make you watch the whole process of me doing this. But what you're seeing is basically what I'm gonna do for the next five minutes or so, just to get it nice and nice and smooth, nice and oily, nice and consistent. And ready to print onto some paper. All right, so now I've got uh, all the ink mixed up. I've got This is what I've got on the press. I've got my little elbow for registration. Here's the block that will be pushed in tightly into that elbow. And then I think I'm going to not use the flop technique, at least to begin with, to see. And that's when I flop the paper on top of it after I push the block through um, or lay the paper down. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hope for the best at the beginning and just try to hopefully it doesn't, uh, the ink doesn't get, have everything like move around and smear around. Um, the block's not very large. I guess I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna ink up the block and just see what it does and see what I need to do and make adjustments from there. But I'm hoping I can just, you know, just put the, the paper in the elbow and just run it through and, and let's get printing. <laughs> All right, so now let's see how it looks. We get a little protector for the bottom, a little piece of paper, so I don't get ink on it accidentally, and just pull it up. Da da da. -da. That's what we got. A little bit more ink on the top, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Sweet. All right, now to do about twenty or so of those. All right, so it is Wednesday now, and I've got uh, all the prints that I've printed yesterday hanging up on the rack up there. And last night I reduced this the blue block down to what I'm going to be printing for this for the darker blue color right there. And I had hoped to print this new block on top of this uh, the blue that I printed yesterday, but it doesn't seem to be quite dry yet. So I'm gonna hold off another day. I believe that this is gonna be at least a two week project for me, uh, just because of drying time. It, the printing doesn't take that long, it probably takes me about three hours to print each little run of color. Uh, but the drying time is gonna make that last a little bit longer. But just to imagine a darker blue on top of that, you don't have to imagine much longer because I'm probably gonna print it either tomorrow or Friday. It'll, it'll get done this week. But today, I have all these tiny carvings that I need to paint. So I'm going to paint these and ink these up today. So that's gonna to be today's project. And then after that, I can start uh, planning something else. But for today, I'm gonna to paint these guys. <laughs> All 12 of the little sea creatures are now finished being painted and they're ready for a layer of ink. I like the color changing effects that I did with a couple of these, like the uh, octopus there. And then especially, not really showing up too well there, but the squid. Uh, can't wait to see what they all look like inked. So let's get going. Let's ink them all up. <laughs>
then finished with all the little tiny carvings. They are all done. Uh, once again, I like all the the color changing, like in the octopus and the squid. It goes from like pink to orange to yellow, and then on the squid back to red. So I think that's fun. Um, but these are finished. They're completed. Um, what time is it? It's uh, 4.32 now, and I'm getting close to the end of the day. But good news is, is all of my existing projects are basically completed. I'm in a waiting game with my reduction um, multicolor monster print. They are still drying, not quite dry yet, hopefully. I'm gonna give it a shot tomorrow to try to get the next color on. But tomorrow I'm gonna to be able to start some new things, maybe even tonight, if I feel like sitting down and sketching, which I probably will. Um, so I'll get to start something new tomorrow. And that's exciting. Um, but until then, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna work on, I might just sit down and sketch for fun right now and with no nothing in my mind other than just uh, just for fun. I need I want to do a new t-shirt design soon. So I think that's probably going to be the, the next thing I tackle, the next thing I plan is a new t-shirt design. How does that sound? I should probably just stop talking about what I'm going to do this week and just do what I'm going to do this week because uh, right there I've got the next color of blue laid out and I'm going to um, print the darker blue on top of the lighter blue I printed earlier this week for the next color of the multicolor block print. Um, also yesterday and this morning, I was packaging up some orders that uh, came from one of my big, I had a big Wacky Wednesday sale yesterday. I didn't really talk about that on here. There's no real point, it's over by the time you guys see it, so I didn't wanna waste your time with that, but I've been packing up orders for that. Um, so I've, I've got a, a number of that uh, those pieces going out the door here in the next couple days. Um, I still have some orders to pack up. I'm gonna let those sit. I'm gonna print some things and I'll finish packing those up later tonight. But hopefully tomorrow or even this afternoon I get to work on something new. <laughs> Not sure if it's gonna happen, but well, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. But for now, let's just start printing. This is the light blue that I printed earlier this week. This is the dark blue block already carved out. It's the same block that I printed. I just carved more onto it. You can see that the, the blue is still on the block. It has carved away a lot of the background. It's mainly, and I carved in some little highlights into that area too. But uh, time to print these up. Let's print these up. Actually, I'm really excited for this. This is where things get interesting. It is Friday morning now, and surprisingly, uh, the blue layer that I printed yesterday is already dry. So uh, a little bit change in plans today, and I get to print the next color. So if you remember, my original plan, as is right there on the screen, um, was to make the, the shell monster on the back of the snail um, the darker blue color, but, Take that off the screen. This blue came out a little bit darker than I was hoping for, um, which is okay, because another thing that I forgot is that I'm not really including, I can get a really beautiful purple color by putting uh, the pinkish color that I'm gonna print next over a blue. Um, and I didn't really have a whole lot of opportunities for that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm changing my plan slightly and the snail monster that's on the back is going to go into that purple color, which I didn't really have a whole lot of color for in my plans. Um, so so I'm, gonna, I'm going to print the red block that looks like this. And the red right here is gonna go over most of that blue and it's gonna make a really nice purple. I've carved out little areas back here, which are going to be that darker blue color. 
And that's going to show through a little bit more, and that's going to create a little bit of shadows. I actually put a little bit up there, too. thought it'd be kind of interesting to do that. Um, but my goal is to lighten up this dark blue color by uh, doing like a, a transparent pink over the whole thing, like 50% transparent pink. So that's my goal. Hopefully it turns out well, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, so this gets really exciting. I get to print it right now for you. Also, I want to show you something. Um, not every print is lining up as perfectly as it can. Um, pro I probably have about five of these that have done this, where it's, you see how it's not probably about a, I don't know, an eighth of an inch off as you get towards the top. I'm not super worried about it. It's gonna look good once it's finished anyway. Um, the colors just may not be 100% within the lines on some of them. But to me, that doesn't really bother me as much. You know, not every woodcut is exactly the same. Um, it's part of the handmade process. And as long as it lines up like 90%, I can go and, and fix things with some paint at the end, which I don't consider cheating. Um, it's just a way to to get your finished product as perfect as possible. So there's a couple of these that I might touch up at the end with some paint on top of all the ink. We'll see, I'm not gonna worry until I get to the last layer though, because uh, that's when things start getting real interesting. You've got four or five layers stacked on top of each other. But for now, this little shift right there where you can see that little light blue in the circle there, that shouldn't be there, but I'm also not worried. I've mixed up this really pretty pink color using, uh, I've got just leftover tubes of ink that I've had sitting here for years, this uh, Rouge Cardinal, Cardinal Red. I just I read the French one first, just Cardinal Red. Um, a little bit of transparent base, which just makes the ink color a little bit clear, a little bit clear. And then some uh, titanium white that I've had laying around as well. Um, really pretty print color. Let's get that on the block, see what it looks like. All right, let's go. Now on to the press bed. Same thing I've been doing the whole entire time, just kind of lining it up. And I've got right here, one of the prints that's not lining up so good. Um, so if I don't like it, I can kind of change the color of this. But I'm just gonna put it on and run it through, see what we got. All right, let's lift it up, see what we got for the first time. So, it looks good. I might wanna put a little bit less transparency in it though. A little bit less transparency, I think. But all in all, I think it looks pretty good. I just don't think it's showing up as well over some things. All right, let's mix a little bit more white and red into it. After looking at it off camera a little bit, I think it needs a little bit more transparency because we're losing uh, some of the details that are carved underneath, like in the ear right there, the top of the ear marks, and then the light blue. So I'm gonna go with a light blue, like there's a line right there, remember? Um, I'm gonna go with a little bit more transparency. I think that should work out a little bit nicer. So I mixed it to something more, a little bit like this, a little bit more red, a little bit more transparent. Hopefully it blends a little better. All right, let's see how that works out. All right, let's check this one out. That's looking a little bit better. I need to get more ink down in here. But other than that, I think it's looking pretty good. All right, now I'm feeling pretty good about it. We've got like this little bit of, uh, you know, you see, you see the little bit of the light purple there. I've light, I've successfully lightened up the monster on the shell. We've got some of the dark blue lines showing through there. It's really good. And it's lining up pretty decently. Um, things are gonna line up better towards the bottom with this method. So everything down here lines up pretty good. It's not till we get up here where things are kind of a little wonky, but it's not bad. And I think once we you know, finish it all up, it's gonna look pretty good. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, I got all the ink down on these prints. You see how the nice, lovely little purple there? And we got a, it doesn't really look super different, but a little bit lighter purple there. 
it all comes together a little bit better when I put the key block on and lock all the areas in. But this is completed. Uh, well, not finished. <laughs> I got the yellow still to put on. Yellow is my favorite color to put on too because when I put the yellow down here on the, the grass and the slime, it's really going to start to pop. Um, but for now, I just got a couple t-shirts I need to print. I'm going to print those up and then see how much time I have left in the day uh, to do anything else. But what do you think so far? It's a long, I don't do these very often because it's a long process. Uh, and each one has to go through the press five times, times, how many am I doing? 26. So that is like 130 times. How's my math on that? I think that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> anyways, next color will be happen next week at the beginning of next week. And I'm going to start printing some shirts now. I am finished printing the t-shirts and I talked Paige into coming down here and checking checking something out. I'm gonna, I decided to finish this week strong. I've told her nothing about what's happening right here. I just told her to come sit next to me and I got some questions for you. So I wanna finish this week strong. I've got, what time is it Paige? 3.14, it's pie. It's pie. It's pie time. It's pie time. All right, so it's 3.14 and I've got two options. I can either sketch for a project next week that I want to do, which I want to start making a new t-shirt block, or I can work on this little framed, carved and painted piece. So Paige, first question, what do you want me to do? Carve this or sketch for a t-shirt block? Do you know what you're going to do with that? I'm asking the question. Sketch for a t-shirt block. Then. <laughs> sketch for a t-shirt block. All right. Bye. <laughs> you didn't have to throw it. <laughs> it's fine, it's wood. All right, now I'm sketching for a t-shirt block. What should I sketch for a t-shirt block, Paige? I wanted to do something that was a, something that's cute. Because okay. I've done scary for the past week. Not really okay. scary, but just. Lots of monsters. Well, mon on the side of monsters. So I'll sketch for a t-shirt block. I want to do something cute. And I think I want to make an entry into my animals eating food category. Okay. Um, I have a couple ideas. Okay. Uh, but go, would you like to propose an idea? About food, animals, or animals eating food? Like animals eating concept. food, the whole concept. Um, let's see what, a red panda. Red panda, oh, that's not bad. Eating pie. Okay. Pie's kind of hard to visualize okay. in black and white. A red though. panda. There could be pie, like, but like, what are we talking like? Like a gooey cherry pie. Gooey Lots cherry of textures. Pie. pie could work, although I think it's I, food for me. It's it's very difficult to see in black and white because food is very colorful. It is. So like, like pizza has a distinct shape. Even like hamburgers are hard to see like in black and white. Yeah, I get so, that. So like. Pie could work, and I'll put it like in the idea pile. But if it doesn't work out, do you have any other food suggestions? I mean, you know me and ice cream, but I think you already have like a pug ice cream shirt. No shirt, just it was a carving. Just a carving. Yeah, look, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna Mike Wazowski myself and put it right over my face here. I'm gonna hold it. That's the piece that she's talking about right there. It's oh. a pug eating ice cream. Yeah. Um, so, but I don't have a shirt with that. So it could be a red panda eating ice cream. Ice cream's not bad. Ice cream's, be ice cream's better than pie. All right, red panda eating ice cream. Let's sketch that out. Yay. Thanks for your help, Paige. You're welcome. All right, I think that's it. Five, five, five. 
Done. All right, it's five o'clock now. I had a little oopsie daisy moment where I was supposed to uh, drop off a piece of art this morning, but I forgot to do it. So I had to run out and drop that off. Uh, but I came back, it's all dropped off. I'm good. Um, I've got the sketch for the red panda finished and don't worry I'm gonna let you watch that but I figured I'm gonna let I'm gonna talk about it first and then I'm gonna close the video out with that sketch video uh, if you wanted to watch it build up to what it is right there uh, but there's the red panda that's the bones of the sketch I kind of colored it in so it made sense to me that's what it looks like without all the color um and that's the that's the bones of the sketch I want to uh, sit on a little bit um, and then I'm going to clean it up. But I think it's going to make a really fun T-shirt design. But that is what I've got. So thanks for hanging out with me this week. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, everything that I did. I finished up the tiny carvings. I got three of the five colors down on my multicolor block and I sketched a red panda, printed some shirts um, and then packed up a whole lot of orders to go out the door pretty soon here. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know if you think this red panda is cute. I'll probably be starting to carve this one next week. Um, but thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me this week. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see y'all next week. Thanks. Bye.